Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated and uh, we acknowledge the leaders. The Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, the Honourable Peter O'Neill, it's my honour to welcome you and ABAC le APEC leaders to this dialogue with ABAC members. I do so on behalf of all ABAC members. May I say how pleased we are that APEC leaders have agreed to meet with ABAC. May I also add a personal note, and that is to congratulate you, Prime Minister, in making the decision that Papua New Guinea host APEC in 2018. In my view, that was a far-sighted decision. You challenged all Papua New Guineans to rise to the challenge in meeting the obligations that go with hosting a major regional event. With the assistance of friends in the region, I believe that we've demonstrated our administrative and organizational capacities to host meetings as intense and complex as they are in APEC. Papua New Guinea has delivered progress. The dialogue that we've arranged focuses on the three key messages we outlined in our letter and report to leaders and reflected in the 16 recommendations in the executive summary attached to the letter. Our key recommendations are that APEC continues to support the integrity and the purpose of the international trading system. That economies and businesses in the region make greater efforts in explaining the benefits of open trade and investment and ensuring that the benefits are widely shared in our communities. In effect, giving true meaning to an inclusive society. And that eco economies implement policies that promote the digital revolution, ensuring adequate investment in infrastructure that provides reliable, affordable, efficient, and least cost access to quality Wi-Fi and broadband. We regard these issues as of major importance to the growth and development of the region. We greatly welcome the opportunity to discuss these matters with leaders and other matters outlined in the executive summary attached to our letter. I also note that we've provided a supplementary report reflecting conclusions and recommendations arising from events organised or co-organised by ABAC PNG. These deal with matters of regional significance and are also of particular importance to the development of Papua New Guinea. They supplement recommendations included in ABAC's letter and report. Prime Minister and ABAC, APEC leaders we look forward to a highly informative and constructive dialogue. We see this as an occasion to promote understandings leading to actions which will influence economic decision making that will drive economic growth and generate benefit for all in our communities from the digital revolution as well as giving real meaning to inclusiveness. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, David Tour, and let me also express our appreciation to all the members of ABEC for organizing this dialogue and for the insightful uh, recommendations included in your letter and report to the ABEC leaders. The work undertaken by ABEC this year, as uh, reflected in the letter and the report, provide excellent insights to the issues of the issues in the moment on the APEC agenda and as such they are an integral aspect of the work of APEC as a whole. On behalf of the APEC leaders, I am very pleased to note the concise nature of the key recommendations in the APEC letters and in the executive summary. I also thank uh, you, all the ABEC leaders and members, for your supplementary report.
provided on specific activities organized and co-organized by ABE Papua New Guinea. While the activities were held too late to be incorporated in the letter and reported to the leaders, I note that they complement ABEC's main report. In preparing for this dialogue, ABEC has proposed discussions in the dialogue groupings around three major recommendations. These recommendations were made in your let letter to the leaders. Thank you for highlighting them in your opening remarks. And I am certain uh, that they will set the stage for a highly informative and productive exchange between the APEC leaders and the business representatives of the region. As you will note, they are issues of major importance to the growth and development of Asia Pacific region. With a strong emphasis on adapting to digital revolution, both as a means of development and being a driver of inclusiveness. May I also take this opportunity to thank <coughs> APEC for organizing the APEC CEO Summit, which the leaders of APEC had the pleasure of participating earlier this week. <coughs> the summit has helped extend and expand the thinking on central contemporary issues that will continue to guide us and project the work of APEC into decades ahead. As you will appreciate, this is a momentous week for Papua New Guinea. As a developing economy of APEC, we come to complete our first year of chair, chair in APEC. I personally want to thank all the APEC members for your strong support in advancing the APEC agenda and for highly recommending the relevant recommendations which you have presented to the APEC leaders and which will contribute to guide and of course develop the policies of APEC. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I propose that we now move to the five rooms to meet in informal and constructive dialogue and, and making sure that it is free flowing exchange between our APEC leaders and business leaders. Thank you very much.